God's grace, peace, and love be with you this day. I hope you are all healthy and safe and practicing social distancing during this time of pandemic. Today's Lenten devotional is based on Ezekiel 37, verses 1 to 14. The hand of the Lord came upon me, and he brought me out of the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me all around them. There were very many lying in the valley, and they were very dry. He said to me, Mortal, can these bones live? I answered, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. I will lay sinews on you, and will cause flesh to come upon you and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I had been commanded, and as I prophesied, suddenly there was a noise, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to bone. I looked, and there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, mortal, and say to the breath, Thus says Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon the slain that they may live. I prophesy as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood on their feet, a vast multitude. And then he said to me, Mortal, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say our bones are dried up and our hope is lost and we are cut completely off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you back to the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people. I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live. And I will place, place you on your own soil. And you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken and will act, says the Lord. Today's devotional was, is supplied by Luther Seminary in Minnesota. It is always breath that breaks the silence. The hand of the Lord came upon Ezekiel and brought him by the Spirit to a valley full of bones. Ezekiel was led to know the landscape of the valley. It was full of many and very dry bones. Ezekiel, God calls Ezekiel to prophesy three times, to the bones, to the breath, and to the biet, the Hebrew word for house. The bones are the whole house of Israel. Their bones were dried up, their hope was lost, they were cut off completely. Exile tends to do that to a people. In God, hope is found even in the valley. Like breath to bone, hope returns not because we have found our way out of the valley, but because God has found a way in. When all hope is cut off, it is breath, God's breath, that will break the silence and and pull us from our graves. Let us pray. Open our graves, O God, and breathe your life into our death. Set us again on the ground where you have formed us. Tell us again that we shall live. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Please join us each weekday for our short Lenten devotional. Hopefully we could, this will help you remain connected to your faith community. God bless.